Cause it's me. Today we are checking out people who got what they deserve. When you go to kindergarten and learn to read, you need to point to the words. Okay? Luke, I'm going to clip you down. Stop. Hey, why'd you clip it down? <laughs> what did he even do that deserved to get clipped down? Clip Luke down, you go down. Bro got telekinetic powers or something. That's honestly what you get. You know when it's trash day and the dump trucks come and then they dump the trash out and then they just kind of throw it back? It's not always gonna be exactly where you left it. And this one ended up on the neighbor's property. I can't control where the city puts it, it's trash. Like just move it. <laughs> How about that? I got that on recording too. Sure did. How are you not laughing? <laughs> Karen, you wanted the trash to move so badly. Like, don't let the floor hit you on the way out. There is an easy solution to this. Your trash is on my property. Either take the trash and move it onto the neighbor's property or ask them to move it. Why are people always making an issue out of nothing? Like, look what happens. I got that on recording too. That's on instant karma. Normal day in NYC. These customers decide to jump on the counter and trash the place. Oh. <laughs> And she got knocked out. Like, hey, your order's ready. She got knocked out by a burrito. Like, here you go, get out of here. I will never understand people who gotta like, jump on the counter and make a scene because they messed up their food order. She got exactly what she deserved. You know, I hope that did more damage to her than she did to the restaurant. So Ken doesn't like the neighbor's doorbell camera. So he tried to like, poke it with a screwdriver. Well, that clearly didn't work. Too. Like, what are you gonna do now? I hate this camera, so you know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to stare right into it. Then maybe it will go away. Yeah, because that's how all your problems go away. You know how you make a problem go away? Drop a door on it. <laughs> maybe he'll stop messing with the camera now. There are bigger fish to fry. Karen is so upset he's spaghetti that she has to sit next to a crying baby on a plane. Tough luck, you don't get to pick who you sit next to. And just pop in some headphones and blast them. He's not gonna cry the whole time. Girl, you might not have a seat on this plane. You might not have a job tomorrow. Just because you didn't want to sit next to a crying baby and now they kicking you off the plane. I'm telling you, Karen's got a field disadvantage. At the airport, on an airplane, like they will not tolerate this behavior. Like, you gone. No, I can't. I can't, Tabitha. She was screaming at the baby. I'm not screaming. I'm, I'm being quiet now please, okay? I'm sorry. I'm screaming at Oh, now you want to be quiet and apologize when they go and kick you off the plane. You know, if you travel a lot for work, please do yourself a favor. Invest in some nice noise-canceling headphones. You can't hear nothing. It'll feel like you in your own world. Vibe into whatever trash music you enjoy. So not only did she get kicked off the plane for yelling at a baby and refusing to sit next to a baby, but she also lost her job because of this video. I mean, I didn't see her screaming at the baby, and I feel like all of us have at some point wanted to scream at a baby. But was it worth her losing her job over? She got stuck with a $3,000 dinner bill after her blind date refused to pay for the 23 family members she brought along. The date is supposed to be two people. You can't just bring your entire family for a free meal with somebody you just met. Especially if you didn't even know they were coming. And then you're gonna act surprised when he doesn't want to pay over $3,000 for you and your entire family to have a meal? Like, what are you thinking? This is a date, not charity work. Delicious. By the way, G Fuel is running their first buy one get one free sale of the year. Happy St. Patty's Day! G Fuel even turned the liquid green to celebrate. G Fuel is bringing back one of their best selling flavors, sour green apple. And it tastes just like the sour green apple Jolly Rancher. I drink G Fuel almost every day. It gives me that good energy when I gotta record videos, right before going to the gym. These games are a work in progress. To celebrate St. Patty's Day, you can buy one energy tub and get one for free. Orders over $70 get a free shaker cup for the first 48 hours. So check out the link in the description below, get yours today. Excuse me miss, can I have something to eat? Yeah, 
there's plenty of places to go get something to eat. As a huh? matter of fact, there's a whole market you can go get something to eat. No, I'm talking. I'm talking about from your shopping cart. Can I have something to eat? Why would I give you something from my shopping cart? Get your own shopping cart and get something. But to I'm eat. hungry. You don't have to be so rude about it. Like somebody comes up to you hungry, like you just went grocery shopping. Like here, take a banana. You don't gotta be a Karen about it. Huh? Oh, that would be lovely. Just something to feed feed my don't stomach. Give him anything, then more people will come here. He's hungry. I can give him some so chips. What? Why does this sound like a dar man video? <laughs> Will you give me this to eat? Yeah, yeah. Yeah? Oh, that's nice. Why do you want to give this to me? Because you're hungry. How much did this cost you? Well, I think it was about 80 bucks. Here you go. So he was doing a social experiment to see who would give him food out of their cart. And if they did, he would pay for their groceries. So he gave this dude 80 bucks. And then Karen, being nosy around the corner. You didn't say that. You said you were broke and look at all the money you have. <laughs> She came back. She's like, oh uh, wait, you just said you were broke. You actually have money. That changes everything. Well, but you didn't give me gross. anything. Well, we'll give you something now. No, it's too you late. Want a banana or some No, cookies? I don't want anything because I asked you first, but you didn't offer it. Yeah, you know what? You can take whatever you want out of my car. Can you pay for my groceries? It does not work like that. Girl, this is so embarrassing. The dog is embarrassed for you. Pack your bags and go home. No. We need food. Yeah, well, it's too late now. I'm not gonna pay you, so. And I asked you first, but you were being very rude about it, so. You know, that wasn't nice. Well, it's not nice because my dog needs to eat, and I couldn't even buy her food. Yeah, I know. Well, that's not my problem. I guess every dog needs to eat, right? Just like how you said, that's not your problem. Go get your own groceries. Well, maybe you should go buy your dog something on your own. You're not very nice. Oh, he's not very nice because he doesn't want to trade a banana for a cart full of groceries. Boo-hoo, Karen. That's not how the world works. Maybe you should have been nicer. My ex cheated on me, so I used all her points at Ulta. No! If you got all of that, she was probably saving all her points for years. I don't need any of this stuff. <laughs> This is honestly the best revenge. Perfect, perfect. All right, um, what's your phone number? Uh, 313. It looks like you've got 4,000. You want to reuse those today? Yeah, yeah, please. I bet she was flabbergasted. Too stunned to speak. This is one of the worst things you could do to a female. And you know, all it takes is just put in their phone number and you can steal their points? That's kind of messed up, but I mean, so is cheating on your man. Mm, was it worth it? scare people. Knock the phone out of her hand and just perfectly bonked him on the head. You know when you're laying down with your phone and it'll like accidentally drop it on your face? Now take that double and give it to the next person. Ooh, I know that hurted. Was this your cart? Yes. Gotcha. Thank you. I'm gonna take it. Thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> and this is why you gotta put your cart back. Look, you think he was doing you a favor? Like, oh yeah, you know what? Let me just put it back. Wait till she turn on her car. Check her rear view camera. She gonna be real confused. Everybody that gets up on this thing. Why'd you knock her down? Oh, so she can go on top. <laughs> hey, you can't get mad when you kept pushing her off. This is my stage. Ouch! And she gonna feel that in the morning. Oh, the sweet, sweet taste of some instant karma. Y'all, I was Sunday fun daying with the parents and I got word that this lady was stealing from the shop. So I left and followed her. She left and got on the bus, which my employee notified me about. So I drove to meet the bus. <laughs> Guys, okay, so this raggedy <laughs> just came into erotic. She followed her on the bus after she caught her stealing. And stole from my store. Okay. Nah, that was her store. Stole from my store. I would take it okay, personally stop. too. And we're gonna follow her to her house. Because she says she's gonna pay for it there. Oh, right? Yes. Okay. So enjoy the ride, and we'll let you know where she lives. Let's play a game called Look in the Thief's Purse. So let's look to see what she has. Stop. Oh, she also took a skirt, Justin. Did you see that? What? No. You raggedy. <laughs> literally just on the bus with her. Told me the what's in my purse vlog with a thief. Don't steal from small businesses, Oki. <laughs> she absolutely humiliated her. Come on, you cannot be stealing from small businesses. But anyways, 
that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment below, let me know which one was the best one. And if you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button in the face. And make sure you turn on notifications. Click, click. And I just released some new merch. We got hoodies, shirts, tank tops at ogwolfpack.com. I'll link it below. And subscribe to the Wolfpack. Oh! I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.